Do you have back pain? Oof. Or do you always have to feel like you have to kind of stretch because your back is always stiff? And are you always at a desk working for long hours throughout the day? If that's you, then this video is for sure going to be something that you want to watch. In this video, we're gonna be covering very simple stretches for your lower back that you can conveniently do at your desk or your workplace. What's up you guys? My name is Justin Lee, physical therapist. In this video, we're gonna be covering some simple stretches for your low back. Now before we get started, I just wanna let you know that this is not medical advice and that if you need medical attention, please see an actual healthcare professional in person for any kind of low back pain or any kind of injury that you might have. Now, before we get started, in the description, there are gonna be timestamps there to tell you which stretches that are gonna be there. So if you wanna fast forward, you're welcome to go to the description and check all those out. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first stretch is gonna be a nice and easy one to stretch all those back musculatures from your low back to the middle part of your back here. And it's a very simple stretch where we're just gonna bend forward and let our body hang so that those muscles and joints can elongate. Now, really simple, check this out. You just have your feet a little bit wider, okay? Kind of in like that sumo position, like this. <laughs> And all you're gonna do is just bend forward and just let your body hang. You can grab your arms and let them loose. You can tuck your chin and just let your body hang down here and hold this stretch for at least 30 seconds or longer. So this next stretch is gonna be stretching the back part of the hips along with the low back specifically to the side that you are using to grab your knee. So for example, if I have pain a little bit or discomfort on my right side, I can hug my right knee and bring it to my chest like so, and that's gonna help stretch those muscles and joints out in the back side. Hold this again, and then you can switch over and go to the other side like so. If you want, you can also scoot back in your chair you want to lock it so you don't have to rock back as much and you just pull back like this so your back is a little bit in more in a comfortable position so this next stretch is going to be similar to the one we just went over where we're hugging that knee straight to our chest but this time instead of coming straight up we're actually going to come across to the opposite shoulder so you're coming across this way versus this way this is the first one where we go straight up the second one, we're bringing it across. So when you bring it across this way a little bit, you're gonna feel it directly in the butt muscle around here. And the reason why that is important is because we're sitting all day, right, in our chair. So our butt gets sore, and when we bring it across this way, that helps stretch the hip muscles and the lower back muscles as well, and some of those joints in between. So this one, you just bring across like this, ah and you get a nice stretch. Same thing, you can hold this 30 seconds on this side and switch over and go 30 seconds to the other side or you can always hold it for longer. This next stretch is gonna be one that's gonna target the spine muscles, the stiff spine muscles in the low back and also the middle part of the back here, down here and up here. So a simple stretch you're gonna do is if you want to, you can scoot all the way to the back of the chair or you can do this in the middle of the chair. And depending on if you have a height one, we can make modifications. But for in this case, we have a chair that is just right there where I can bring my arm across. So all you're gonna do is just come up here and you have a big twist in the chair. This is called the twist in chair stretch. Very creative, right? <laughs> now for this stretch, if you don't have something where you can reach all the way across, you can always scoot up a little bit and then grab your armrest or the side of your chair, grab the side of your knee and twist towards that side. The reason why we're holding this knee is because we're holding it back so we don't let that knee move so our body moves with it. So we're literally just going in circles, right? <laughs> so all you wanna do is hold that knee in place, pull with your other arm 
and then twist out here. You should feel a big stretch in the middle part and the lower part of your back. And it's like twisting and wringing out all the water in a wet towel. So this next stretch is gonna be for the low back and for the hip muscles as well, the back hip muscles. Very simple, all you're gonna do, put one leg up like so. If you have the mobility, you can bring the knee here and the knee down a little bit like this. If your hips are really tight and you can't do that, you can always try to cross your legs like so. So once you're here, what you'll do is you're just gonna lean forward and try to get your chest to that knee or towards the floor. You'll feel this in the back and you'll also feel this in the leg that's crossed over that hip muscle like this. Now, if you have more flexibility, like I showed before, you can always bring the cross and have the knee go down a little more. And then you lean forward. That's gonna be a deeper stretch, but only for those who have that flexibility. And you hold this stretch 30 seconds on each side at least. You can always hold it for longer. So this stretch is gonna be for the hamstring muscle group. And this is gonna be very convenient because you can do it in a seated position. So all you're gonna do is sit at the edge of your chair and you're gonna have this leg straight out. Now you can have it straight or you can have it slightly bent and you can have your ankle up or have your ankle flat. Either or, I'm gonna show you how we can modify some things to feel a different type of stretch in those hamstring muscles. Now, no matter if you have your knee bent or straight or ankle foot or the foot flat or ankle up, whether you're there or there, you just wanna make sure that you're hinging your hips forward like this. Now check this out. Let's go into a position where we hold this stretch and we kind of feel it right in the back hamstring muscles here. But you're like, I want this stretch to be a little bit deeper. You can do two things. One, you can straighten out the knee so you're pushing it down. Ooh, I feel that stretch down here already. Or you can try to bring your foot towards you and you feel that little bit more in the calf and the back of the leg right here as well. And you can modify those things by wherever you start. So let's say I start out with the leg straight and I'm hinging forward. Oh, I feel the stretch, but I want a little more. I'm gonna bring that oh, ankle back, right? Or let's say I get the foot flat and I hinge forward and I'm like, I still want the stretch a little bit. Then I try to push my knee down and I'll feel the stretch here. The most important part with this exercise is to make sure that you're hinging through the hips and leaning forward, do not be the person that comes here and bends through their back. That's a big no, no, okay? All right, you wanna hinge through those hips. Once you start bending through that back, then you add a little extra stress and that little extra stress can actually be just the trigger enough to irritate your back just a little more. All right guys, so for this next stretch, we're gonna be working on those hip flexors right here in the front. Now, those of you who sit all day long and don't really have a good understanding of anatomy or a human body, you're like, hip flexors, I've heard that. Tight hip flexors, da 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 hip flexors, hip flexors. It's like a, such a popular term, but what the heck is that? Hip flexors, just in general, are muscle groups that are right here in the front. Muscles that shorten when the knee is closer to the chest or when we're sitting down, right? Now, if we're sitting down and those knee, the muscles shorten for a long period of time, then it stays in that position. So when you try to stand up, oh, it, it lengthens and you feel a little bit of stiffness, maybe even some pain or discomfort here in this area. So we're gonna do some exercises to stretch this area and also in the front of the leg, which is also known as the quads. So this first exercise, what we're gonna do is we are going to, let's say if we're stretching on this leg, we're gonna make sure that leg is back, hands on the table. And what you're gonna do is just lunge forward. Make sure that whole back leg is completely straight and the hip is straight here. Let me get this camera a little bit lower so you guys can see. So we're right here, right? You get the leg back, hands on the table, and you lunge forward and you're gonna feel a stretch right in that front of the leg right here. Now, you're more than welcome to lunge more and try to feel a deeper stretch, or you can always step back more and try to lunge and hit that stretch hard. Now, be very careful with this exercise, especially if you have back pain, because 
a lot of times people will try to stretch really hard and what they'll do is they'll arch their back to try to get that deeper stretch and you're actually putting way more stress than you need to so do not arch your back i'm gonna say that one more time do not arch your back right here just push forward keep that back nice and straight if you do need a deeper stretch like i said before step back more but do not arch your back so this last exercise that we're gonna have for our hip flexors, we're gonna utilize the chair here. Now, this one is a little bit more advanced for people who have a little bit more flexibility in their hip, and they want a deeper stretch than the one I showed you earlier. So with this one, what you're gonna do, very simple. You just have your knee on the chair like this. Put your foot on the backrest like this. I'm gonna show you in this position, right? And all you're gonna do is put this here, come back to that same position with your hands, right? And you're just gonna lunge forward and you'll feel a deeper, deeper, deeper stretch up here in the front of the hip, right here in the front. You might feel it in the quad as well with this one. The same thing, you just lunge forward, do not arch the back, keep the back absolutely straight. Hold this stretch for at least 30 seconds to a minute and then switch sides. All right, y'all. So I hope you guys got a ton of information and learned some very simple stretches that you could do to help alleviate your back aches, some back pain, some back stiffness, especially if you're somebody who works in the workplace or at a desk. Very simple exercises to do. All of these I would recommend holding for at least 30 seconds to a minute and you wanna do this every two hours. Now, if you're a superstar, do this and get up and do this every single hour. The thing is, whenever you are sitting or you're in one position for a long time, you get stiff. Think about when you sleep and you wake up. You feel stiff, you kinda of move around and then you don't feel as stiff anymore. So when you're in the workplace and you're on the desk, right? You're sitting and you're working, Think about the movements that are happening. You don't have movements, maybe in your fingertips. Your fingertips are super, super lubricated <laughs> and mobile. But most of your body, your neck, your low back, your hips, they don't move. So they're gonna get stiff. Now in physical therapy, we have a term, it's called motion is lotion. So the more you move motion, the more lotion or lubrication, right? That goes into those joints and you're able to have more mobility. It's like WD-40, free WD-40 for your joints. So get up and move often as much as possible. And hopefully that in turn will help decrease your symptoms, decrease your pain, decrease your discomfort and help you live pain free. Once again, my name is Justin Lee, physical therapist. Thank you for watching. Have a great one, you guys.